Hi Flames and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about etymology slash wordplay. Okay, I'm going to be sharing some information about uh, my awakening journey, my process. And this video and the next um, several videos will be um, parts of a book that I'm in the process of writing. So I meant, guys, if you want to hear more about this lesson in my book, please stick around and always remember we can't get anywhere without the writ system, okay? All right, guys, so as we've all heard before, well, at least those who want to hear, we've heard about um, a topic called uh, the Big Bang Theory, okay? We've, we've heard about that um, several times, especially if you're part of the awakening or the um, know thyself journey, okay? So, um, of course, in the beginning, you know, there were stardust, there were a being whom created this phenomenon, okay? So we're not going in depth in that, but we have to know where you came from. That's what etymology means, origin, in order to know where you're going, all right? Um, and also in order to, uh, to, to, to accept the path of your journey, we need origin, we need etymology, okay? So um, this has everything to do with words. Words are spells, okay? And um, if you, you don't yet receive that data, you know, or, or that expression, words or spells, just stick around and kind of learn for yourself, you know? So uh, anyway, words, words, words. What are words? Well, we're just seeing some slides here. We can bear witness that we did not see any so-called words. We've seen parts of us, okay, which we are reflection of the universe. We've seen parts of us okay that dwells that resides within the universe okay here you have an image of um, the unit structure of the universe or the synapses by uh, the synapses of the human brain okay so again do you see any words within these images I do not I just see members of the system now, system, if you go back to etymology, it just means the stem of the star. You know, they said all people are living things are stars in some form or fashion, okay? So there's not one form to to, 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 the, to the yoniverse slash universe's um, creatures, okay? Or um, living things that she, cre she, 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 she created or reproduced. So, um... I know with that being said, we can now confirm that words are spells. You know, is th that's a learned behavior, okay, to speak. And if you go back and look at the autom etymology of language, you will hear the word witch, and you will hear the word lang, which means tongue. And if you look up another word called languish, you will um, further confirm that there are no such thing as words okay so we're learning today about etymology and the way we communicate initially and since and, and, and since the beginning and from the beginning is telepathy study telepathy break down that word and study etymology okay so it's just the way the cell communicates via via its senses okay so we are moving right along to wordplay. I know I've shared that when my ancestors first alerted me or resuscitated me from the dream world, from the, from the, from, from, from the death sleep, sleep and death is one and the same. One of the first things they told me was beware of wordplay. Okay, beware, beware of wordplay. And I had no foreknowledge that words were spells. Okay, but I do now. So 
we will take the good out of words and language because since we fail so low and we vibrate so low, you know, when we fail, okay, we vibrated low. I'm not speaking of your current vibratory uh, level, okay? I'm not speaking about that. You know, now that you have some of our knowledge of stuff, I'm speaking about initially. So when we fail, we fail into the lowest dimension of the, the cosmic worlds okay the cosmic realm or dimensions the cities kingdom whatever label you want to give it so at any rate we 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 fell into this suit this flesh suit of any form okay so-called mammal so-called human so-called animal whatever tree flower you know just any form of a living thing around you that's a form of light slash life. So we fell low, guys. And so the ultimate goal is to return home. In order to t return home, our ultimate mission, our MO, is to know thyself. For the beginning of wisdom is to know thyself. And we know that via experiences or via ancient memory. Okay? So... We have to know the head of the house. We have to learn what that is in us, and that's we call it the soul slash I. Okay, in order to get there, since we vibrate so low and we're on such a kindergarten frequency, and we are, go study the etymology of kindergarten, we have to learn things in block form, Matt, okay? Meaning someone is holding our hands, telling us what, what is. And we're learning that that what is is what isn't. Okay, guys, we are so much more than we were taught. So, but at any rate, in order to learn, we have the basics. They gave us an alphabet system. But we're knowing, now we know that we are aware of um, our inner be our inner components, our inner uh, bodily systems and parts. And we are also aware now that those two are higher beings, okay, living in us, named organs, okay. So in order to learn of ourselves, we must have a writ system, writ system, meaning a rite of passage. Um, I have that slide in here somewhere. I don't, if I, you know, if I, <laughs> I don't even think I see it, but hey, hey I'll, I'll include it when I edit the video. So at any rate, we have an alphabet system. If you go into the ancient alphabet or a writ system or the ancient kingdoms, you know, in the Britannica or the uh, uh, different kind of uh, dictionaries or dis different kind of religious texts, you will see their alphabet system. And the most popular and the most important one is called the um, Hebrew system, the ancient Hebrew system. Thereby, we have a lot of words infused with the Greek alphabet. Now, in the Hebrew system, Aleph Beth means the head of the house or the head that of the family or home. OK, so we just learned that the head of the house is the eye because everything is the eye. OK, everything. So um, you can gather that information from your ancient memory. If you know, if 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 if, if you have that wherewithal that authority you know if you one of the one of the fallen ones or you can grab that information from uh, Gnost gnostic scriptures everything is the eye okay and the eye observes the eye senses the eye sees okay another um writ system is uh, that we've been learning about is the meta netter now this is to me is the ultimate writ system okay because it expresses the gene it, 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 we express whatever we are see touch tasting perceiving judging etc do you get it it's just our thought forms slash senses has the capacity to communicate via telepathy to knowledge if i didn't have a writ system and if it I didn't have the glyph i wouldn't know if my eye, okay, saw, observed and saw a, a, a dog, then I wouldn't know what a dog was had I not had a writ system in the back of my eye or slash brain, okay? So again, every, every bodily system 
and its components, its hormones, its cells, so it's chemical messengers, so on and so forth, blood, plasma, all of that, so forth, is labeled. Okay, once we get in the basis of of, of, of etymology a rich system we know that every bodily system is attached to a number and a letter okay I, so they say we have roughly 11 bodily systems okay if that's the case then there should be only 11 alphabets well what happened again we fell in the reptilian low vibe reptilian the lizard children we fell into their kingdom and in order to keep us trapped so they can make steal our gold, they gave us an alphabet system, that writ system. Okay, now, don't confuse the two. Remember etymology. Remember wordplay. Okay, remember grammar slash glamour. Alphabet and alphabet are two different systems. Okay? All right, guys. Um, who are you? That's the question. That's the true question. So how do we discover or remember using ancient memory? How do we answer this question? The alphabet system, okay? Not the alphabet, okay? Now the alphabet is infused with, 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 with truth and false, okay? That's called deception. We fell into gross darkness slash blackness has no light, it's filthy, it's putrid here. We're amongst the dead. We're all of the dead man walking until we awaken to until one of our ancestors resuscitate us. And once they resuscitate us, we gradually become aware of all systems. Okay? Don't confuse the two. The the two systems, the alphabet and the alphabet systems, has their own distinctive writs of passage, okay? And once you are conscious of thyself, you will call a pineal gland the pineal gland and not the clitoris slash penis. Once you are conscious of yourself, you will call the I an I and not the mind. Guys, do you get it? We were given this alphabet system, this word system. To keep us bound to it, it was like a firewall in your cosmic computer that prevents you from self awareness to prevent you from remembering who you truly are okay beautiful beautiful hydrogen atom condensation of water of herb waters so on and so forth so again the meta netter. We have a little data of that system. We're given two writ, writ systems again, and the third one is the meta netter. Now that system corresponds to our original communication system, okay? Telepathy. So, again, they wanted to keep us confused and dumbed down. Hence the reason we were given a witch-like or pseudo writ system. Okay, In that writ system, we have alphabets, so-called hieroglyphs, okay, or pseudo hieroglyphs that describes or labels something other than our true cosmic forms okay hence the reasons for our sleep sleep and death is one of the same hence the reason why we continue to stay sleepwalking okay it's difficult to awaken when we are so attached to these labels these alphabets carries energies slash spirits and we become one with them when we subject ourselves to a word Man, woman, boy, child. Ooh, I'm this, I'm that. And you're not. Okay? Okay? So at any rate, we don't want to call a fish a snake. But with the alphabet system, <laughs> we're subject to do that. 
You don't want to call your feet a foot when it's the soul, okay, of you. When it's your entire soul, your entire being lies within the bottom of your foot, okay? And if we call it a foot, we should know that it's a soul. We should know that the two, you know, feet are very, very important unto us. That they 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 hold the key of self awareness. You have the whole entire soul in the bottom of your feet, your foot, your feet hiding from you in plain sight. That's what these alphabets and these words does. And they have the audacity to say, "Oh, you need to speak correct grammar, honey." I don't get into that, as I've already shared with you. That's why I don't be uh, editing these 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 these, these uh videos. These, these videos reason one is because I don't have anything to hide okay or am, and nor am I trying to bewitch you in any fashion or form okay that's not my method of power okay okay we're gonna before I end this video we're gonna go over some um, we're gonna go over some some, some data that I have um, extracted from Google so we know that the English, you know, in English means angles, English. Okay, so we, we're, we're trapped in angles down here. Prisons, angles, English, ang English. <clears throat> we know that it derived from, as we said earlier, you know, I said that this, um, it's just a messy language, okay? is mixed up with everything hoodoo voodoo everything oh, we, we we talked about a writ a right w-r-i-t r-i-t-e r-i-g-h-t is one and the same okay remember etymology remember wordplay wordplay is when they give you about like i just mentioned two or three words the same words different spelling different meanings all right to keep you caught up to keep you be bewitched glamorized voodooed this is a ritual okay it's a ritual being performed on us every time we speak because again the words are self-destructive we speak against ourselves every time we use these words versus telepathy um you know the gene expressing itself the senses expressing itself your cosmic power your senses expressing themselves um then we just shipwreck and that's just what they want speak correct grammar <laughs> honey that's glamour you're being bewitched okay but some people love that because again everybody here is not from the higher realms everybody then falls you know, again go watch the movie bliss there's about 90 percent of the people the lizard children and in, included with the um the um the clones <coughs> the soulless ones Okay, the eye takes us all places, all places, helps you see, touch, taste, all of that. All of that is one eye, all of your senses and more. Here it tells us that it doesn't have a writ system, writ writing. They try to trip you up with the definitions to do what? Keep us bound by gross darkness gross darkness not darkness gross darkness blackness filth wickedness perversion okay also i mentioned there are no vowels i learned this from the other side there are no vowels at all well that ain't even important it's not to you but to someone that has a soul it is you want to know how to get to the top need if need be you don't want to know how you we want to know how to call out the help the correct way, the cor in the correct manner. Guys, all the of the English language is, 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 is a trainer, is a teacher to teach us how to behave in the, the low vibe reptilian kingdom, the low vibe lizard reptilian kingdom. Okay, now I want to sum everything up. We learned about etymology today slash wordplay. It's very important. Why? Because it keeps us bound when we speak incorrectly. We are performing rituals, ceremony, spells upon ourselves and those of others that we were given words to blind us from self-knowledge. Okay? Um, by all means, we must unlearn this behavior. Okay? We must uninstall this alphabet 
system, the alphabet application within us. Okay, um, it's a part of the journey, anyways, whether we want to or not. It's inevitable. We must unlearn these learned programs or behaviors. Even as I speak, the great one is spreading her waters and shining her light upon her children. It's the reason you, when you ask for projecting, you may be seeing a lot of water. Well, that means wisdom, okay? Ancient wisdom, which is self-knowledge, knowledge of the true one, which in turn is knowledge of us because we are part of that system. We are part of that being, okay? So um, at any rate, um, the ultimate method of communication is cosmic telepathy, okay? This is when we, when one expresses its senses and we can interpret that wavelength, okay? That's the way of truth. Truth is light. Study the cell systems, okay? Study the way they travel. Yeah, study the way cells communicate one to another. Study the way senses responds to stimuli, external force, sis, okay? Guys, study the synapses system. Is it not the street system or the highway for sales to pass? Is it not the writ of passage for the sales? Guys, demonstrate it so elo eloquently are the ultimate communication systems of the higher consciousness or the higher dimensions. Okay, guys, we've learned a lot of things today. We can continue in 24-7, 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We know that's BS because we just learned the RIT system. We can continue to call those parts of our consciousness or bodily system the labels that we were given according to the um, snake kingdom um, RIT system, their alphabet system, their language system, or we can choose to redirect our paths into the paths of righteousness or balance. All right, guys, we will chat soon. Also, I left these slides up so that you can get a true glimpse of your true nature, of your true form. All right, later.